Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling strong and persistent because our quote of the day is, The Big Talent is Persistence by Octavia Butler. Persistence is true dedication. No talent is strong enough to lead to success without persistent effort. By sheerly examining a person's level of commitment and their level of persistence towards a goal, you can determine who is going to win the race and who is not. Just as the turtle won the race against the much faster rabbit due to its persistent effort towards a focused goal. Persistence is one of the most important qualities that differentiates a successful person with a non-successful person. Most people do not persist. People get sidetracked and forget where they were headed. They forget their ideas and they prefer the easy and comfortable way. So when the going gets tough, they bail out. But the people who do reach success persist even though they are, just as anyone else, confronted with failures, challenges, difficulties, and setbacks. Everyone meets hardships when they leave their comfort zone, and so will you. But you can't reach success and, di and have different results than you currently have if you remain in your comfort zone. All success requires persistence. Hardships are inevitable, and the bigger your goals are, as I have said before, the more difficult the challenges along the way will tend to be. You have to be different in order to succeed. Only 2% of Americans have reached the state of financial freedom for life. That means that if they did not inherit huge wealth, then they needed to do things differently than 90%, 98% of the population. So what are people most not willing to do? They are not willing to suffer now for the long-term results. Most people want to get their pleasure or paycheck now, even though they will eventually have to pay a price and often suffer later on. People are not willing to do the work if they don't see results immediately. And most people are afraid to do things differently than everyone else is doing. And most people also fear being different. Most people prefer stability rather than taking risks. And most people prefer comfort and secure to scary, adventurous, and hard. And this is why only 2% are financially free. And if you look at marriage, you will see similar numbers. Only 11% of happily married couples see themselves as being in their best relationship. When looking at the entire population, uh, not only married couples, then that number goes down to 4%. And when looking at health statistics, the death rate from non-communicable diseases such as uh, Parkinson's, heart disease, most heart disease, most cancers, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, and Alzheimer's disease is nearing 80% of the population. That means that 8 in 10 people will die of a disease that is most, can most often be healed naturally or prevented. People who are healthy, rich, and good in it, and find themselves in good, long-lasting relationships are doing things differently than most other people. So if your goals are in one of these fields, be persistent, focus, put in the effort, and do what is uncomfortable. Take the risks and do it over a long period of time, and success will be yours to reap. Because when people are willing to do things differently and follow their instincts and do what they know is right to do, then they will reach exceptional results in all fields of life. You will have to leave your comfort zone and do things you've never imagined you, yourself doing. You will need to take care of things and take actions that are hard for you as a person, but nonetheless you must do them to become better and to become the, that person that can achieve your dreams. You cannot stay the same person and fulfill big dreams. You must change. And the path to change is the path of persisting towards a specific goal, no matter what the odds are, no matter what the feet, and no matter what the amount of time it will take to get you there. Now, if you listen to my video on feedback, you know that even if you have a plan to reach your goal, you may not know if your plan is good until you start to implement. But once you start to implement, your plan, even a bad plan, will allow other things to open up for you and new ideas will come as well. 
You do not need to persist and be stubborn about a specific plan. You only need to be persistent about achieving your goals and what your goals will bring for you and for other people in the end. Your persistence should be about the big picture. Therefore, the big picture must be the one that you are very passionate about. Because you will suffer on the way, and when you do something that you are not passionate about, you will stop when the going gets tough. In order to persist on your big picture goal, you must be so passionate about the subject and enjoy the process as well. Taking risks is never easy, and the results are never known beforehand, so I definitely recommend taking calculated risks. A calculated risk is one where you are following sufficient research that shows that your chances of success are higher than your chances of failing. The risk has uh, much forethought and is unlikely to fail, although it still could. This is taking a calculated risk. Because you are trying to reach a goal that you've never currently reached before, there will be a learning curve before you get things right. So there will be failures and difficulties on the way. You will have setbacks and disappointments. But if you learn the lessons and improve yourself and persist on the path towards your success with time and consistent effort, granted towards your goals, then without doubt you will reach them. Quitting is losing. Persevering is succeeding. Quitting on something that you truly believe and you truly have passion about is losing. And persevering will be success for you. Even if your goal has to do with relationships, you will succeed if you believe in the possibility and you pers uh, persist um, with your efforts. If you stay in the field, so to say, then you will find a way to get things right. It may be shameful at, at times. Think of Steve Jobs getting fired from Apple, the company that he founded, only later to help it become one of the most successful and innovative country, uh, companies in the world. It may also be painful at times. Think of Nelson Mandela, who was confined to different prison cells for 27 years, where he experienced a lot of physical and mental suffering, only to come out and help end apartheid in his country peacefully and to become elected by parliament as the first president of a democratic South Africa. And it will also be hard on the way. Think of Mahatma Gandhi embarking on a fast to protest in a non-violent way against the British government, which in the end led to India's independence from British rule. And it will be long as well. Think of Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Walt Disney, with all their failures, their trials, uh, some of their bankruptcies, before they became what they became and did what they did. Think of what you could achieve if, you're, if you persisted at your goals with consistent effort, not giving up on your dreams and aspirations, think of what you could achieve. It also took me many years to complete my university degrees, but I did complete them in the end. It took many years before my real estate company made me sufficient funds so that I could retire, but I did it in the end. I persisted. As the saying goes, the best way to predict the future is to create it. We are always creating our future, sometimes unconsciously, so it is pretty much predictable. Knowing your level of persistence and determination, you can pretty much predict where you will be in 5 and 10 years from now. The control is really in your own hands. There will be setbacks that cannot be foreseen on the way, but if you persist beyond them, the rewards are yours for the taking. Also, persistence with new and better habits will help you embed these new habits into your mind for long-term benefits for you. Research shows that if it takes between 22 and 66 days for a habit to become a default behavior, 66 days of persistence with a new habit, that is meaning that you have to persist for 66, between 22, for most people, let's say it's 66 days to persist straight on for this habit to become your default behavior. And the ability to persist is very powerful indeed. When you create new habits for yourself, you create a new life for yourself. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer can help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, in which areas of your life do you prefer comfort over success? Which habits will you need to form in order to succeed with your big goals? And what can you do every single day 
to make sure you are moving forward, even in small increments, towards your goals. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer uh, in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions. So to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is nothing will stop me from reaching my goals. Nothing will stop me from reaching my goals. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has power in it to completely transform your life for the better if you repeat it over and over again. So thank you very much for joining me here today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a video, a new video, and please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.